This one is especially for you, life sciences. And the topic that we are going to be doing while well, the chapter that we're starting off with is human impact on the environment. Personally, this is my favorite one. <laughs> I'm not kidding, this is my favorite one. Um, and mainly because I don't think I should be saying this, but it's the part that I least studied. <laughs> because you can, that's, that's happening around us. You can like wing it. But yeah, I really, really love this section because you can apply also what you know, what you've read on the news. So yeah, that is what we're going to be doing today. And the content, as always. Guys, where am I getting all this content? One sec. This is where I got my content. Studying Master Grade 11 for Life Sciences. Yeah, as you can see, the book is going through it all. Because I used it when I was still in high school. <laughs> and that was a long time ago. So yeah. That's where my content is gonna be from. Yeah, as per usual, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Please like, please comment, you know? Yeah, let's get started. Okay, the first human impact on the environment that we are going to be doing is deforestation. Deforestation is something that has been happening for centuries and centuries and centuries, but now it is happening quicker. Okay, we'll get to why just now. Okay, deforestation basically the removal of forests and this is a problem because forests are being removed faster than they can grow because trees take a very very long time to grow so yeah deforestation is that and what are the causes well the causes of deforestation one is agriculture so a lot of forests are being cleared so that they can make way for agriculture that being crops that being um, cattle, like cattle farming, sheep farming, all of that stuff. Yeah, deforestation, they clear forests for that. Second thing is um, they clear forests to plant like artificial, like not artificial forests, but like um, forest plantations where they can be able to get like timber for wood to make furniture and all that stuff. And also um, use some of that wood to make um, firewood, um, charcoal, all those things. So yeah, natural indigenous forests are cleared to make way for those uh, forest plantations. And another reason, mining. Um, people, um, companies, mining companies will clear forests so that they can make way for mines, so that they can make way for industries, malls, for property, basically, you know, anything. Because they feel like the trees are not as important as um, the forests. But <clears throat> jokes on them, they are. But anyways, yeah, I, I don't want to like, I don't want to say too much because this topic is very close to my heart. For now, let's just focus on the theory. <laughs> so yeah, and another cause. Oh, um, another cause is over exploitation of forests, like natural forests. So you know, like forests have a lot of medicinal uses because of the the, the plants and the leaves and 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 so a lot of when something is used too much yeah it starts becoming a problem so a lot of traditional medicine they just chop you know and all that stuff and that causes like they remove the forest so, like i'm trying to control my bowel because wow i really could like speak forever and ever and ever with this topic <laughs> so that's why i'm a bit you know but yeah so those are the causes of deforestation just just go yeah let me just go over them it is um agriculture the agriculture it's mining it's industries it's um over exploitation for medicinal uses yeah it's over those factors are the reason why forests appeared yeah so just know that and then what are the effects why are we fussy why is deforestation such a bad thing well firstly deforestation affects um, the nitrogen cycle so when certain tree species that fix nitrogen if you forgot what the nitrogen cycle is just go back to your term one work yeah it was covered the nitrogen cycle was definitely covered but yeah like the removal of certain tree species that fix nitrogen so if those trees are removed then the, nit the nitrogen cycle cannot occur and then another thing is 
trees as we all know they take in a lot of carbon dioxide they are basically carbon dioxide sinks so with the removal of trees a lot of um carbon dioxide will not be taken up and it will be in the atmosphere another um, effect of deforestation is loss of species forests are home to thousands of species and i'm not exaggerating they are home to thousands of species be it insects be it plants be it um animals like the forest forests have a lot of um animal and plant species so if you remove the forest you remove their home and with no home they are they can get extinct so yeah those are the effects of deforestation i think that's what i forgot Mm, let me think oh yes um because um trees transpire so with the removal of trees with deforestation there's an effect on the water cycle so therefore they like in a region where there was a lot of rain there won't be as much rain anymore because there's no transpiration no transpiration equals no evaporation no evaporation equals no clouds blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> equals less rainfall so that is the effect and also trees uh, forests prevent soil erosion and they do that because they have roots and they keep the soil intact but yeah so soil erosion will be covered in another video oh a geography video <laughs> yeah so yeah anyways that's that those are the effects of deforestation and then now we move on to the next one and that is the greenhouse effect the greenhouse effect is a very natural effect. It's a na it's an effect that we need. If it was not day, planet Earth would be freezing. But now the problem is when this effect happens too much. When there's too much of it. Basically, the greenhouse effect is when greenhouse gases that is your carbon dioxide, that is your methane, yeah, when those gases basically form a blanket. Yeah, sort of a blanket in the atmosphere and they prevent um, because okay let me explain it <laughs> using my hands this is earth this is the, the solar rays solar rays hit earth but solar rays are reflected back so with the greenhouse greenhouse effect the blanket or the greenhouse gases act as a blanket and then some of them are trapped so therefore it's a bit warmer so now with all of these industries and 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 that increase the amount of greenhouse gases the blanket basically gets bigger we have more so now more heat is trapped you know so that leads to the the thing called global warming yeah and i know again not everyone believes that global warming is real but global warming is so real yeah, global warming is very, very real. And the effects of global warming, firstly, um, cola, cola caps and like those things, they will melt. And someone living in South Africa like me will be like, how does that affect me? Um, we don't have ice here. But with the melting of polar caps, sea levels will rise. And if you live in a coastal area, that will affect you. Obviously not next week, not next month, but in the next coming years. So those are the effects. And another effect of global warming is that seasons are different. I don't know if you've noticed, but what, um, I know where I'm, I'm living, winter is becoming so much warmer. Like winter is not as cold anymore. That's global warming. Whereas in some region, regions, winter is becoming much colder, you know? And also spring, starts earlier and then yeah in some like spring starts earlier and um winter yeah winter ends earlier obviously <laughs> so yeah th those are all effects of um global warming another effect will be loss of species obviously because some species have a very optimum temperature like they can't survive let's say if, it, if they use 235 and all of a sudden it's now 40 like average temperatures they will not survive 
like you think of polar bears. Polar bears, yeah, I really feel sorry for them because Antarctica is just gonna get warmer and warmer and warmer. And basically, a lot of other species, yeah, there's that. And there's gonna be a lot more drought. Okay, I'm now speaking about South Africa. In South Africa, there's gonna be a lot more drought in the, in, what's this, in the Eastern Cape, in the Western Cape, in the Northern Cape. Those regions are gonna have more droughts. Whereas the regions on the East Coast, like your KwaZulu Natal, your, how, okay, how can on the East Coast, but KwaZulu Natal, um, how then Malanga will have more rainfall, more floods, um, and and like the weather is just gonna be so much more extreme. Like I don't know if you've noticed, but like there's been a lot of occurrences of floods and people lose their homes and all that stuff. That is all global warming. So global warming is real. And then obviously with more drought, food prices go up, and that will like worsen poverty and stuff like that and with an increase in poverty like I know your countries like that are already dry like your your Sudan your Somalia those those countries like droughts will become more and with that there's gonna be more war because now countries are gonna start fighting over resources you know so I just basically summarized it as I said because I used to read this topic a lot <laughs> yeah so that's basically the effects. <sighs> did I forget anything? Okay, if I did, please, please tell me. <laughs> but yeah, those are the effects of global warming. Thank you so much for tuning in. I try to keep back from closure. This topic is really close to my heart and it hurts and I want to say a lot, but I'm not. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do like, subscribe, tell your friends. Thank you for tuning in.